Persuasive Speech Research, Charities and Nonprofits. By now, you've probably done some research. You found articles, books, and websites to support an informative speech, or you've done research on other classes. Maybe you've even had to write a position or persuasive paper. If so, you know that persuasive research is different. It can seem harder, but once you know the trick, it's not so bad. Usually when you get an assignment like this that says, pick a charity or organization for a persuasive speech, you need five, seven, or 10 sources. You try and think which charity is going to be the easiest to research, which one will have the most written about it. Apart from restrictions in your assignment, you can pick any charity or organization, local or national, big or small. Choose the charity that's interesting to you. It won't matter if there isn't a lot of information written about your charity. Let's see why. First off, think about what you are trying to persuade people to do. Volunteer, give money, donate something. This is key. Let's say we want our audience to donate canned goods to the People's Resource Center in Wheaton. Are we going to be able to find enough information about it? Guess what? It doesn't matter. Why? Because this isn't an informative speech. You're not going to tell your audience all about your charity. You're going to try to convince them to care about your charity. Your research then isn't all about your charity, but about what your charity does. So what's your charity's mission? Who does it help? What is the benefit of the work that it does? The People's Resource Center provides a lot of services, but we're focused on the food pantry. Here's where this research is really different. We don't want information about the PRC food pantry. We want information about why the food pantry is necessary. We want to convince our audience that individuals, the community, the world would be a worse place without this service. So we have to convince our audience to care. We want to let them know that needs are being met, problems are being solved, disasters averted because of this charity's work. But there are always more needs, more problems, more disasters around the corner. By the time we've provided all these details, our audience will be wondering what they can do to help. We've persuaded them of our argument. So how does research fit in here? Think of yourself as a lawyer providing evidence to back up your arguments. You could say there are a lot of hungry people in DuPage County, but why should anyone believe you? It's better to say, according to the Illinois Department of Human Services, the number of families requiring nutrition assistance has increased by 133% since 2006. Your job then as a researcher is to find the evidence to support your claims. You say poor families in DuPage County don't have access to quality food. Back that up with proof, an article, a statistic, an interview. Whatever it is, it'll help you be persuasive. If you're wondering what to do next, contact the speech librarian at k-e-l-l-e-y-j at c-o-d dot e-d-u. See? Speech research. It's not so bad.